Bom dia, galera. Professor Joseph Manuel here with you, and I just want to take a few minutes to talk about my friend, my brother Shane. All right, I've been in the game for more than half my life studying the science of jiu-jitsu. Very few things shock me or impress me. Uh, I will tell you that Shane is uh, a very impressive person, right? And uh, as an instructor, he's a true student of the game. You know, I had an opportunity to go out to his academy and teach a seminar, and it was uh, so nice to spend time with him and see how much he really loves the science of jiu-jitsu and how uh, fervent he is in his studies to learn and also impart the knowledge to his students. There are very few instructors do that. A lot, of, a lot of instructors try to hold back knowledge, try to keep the students, you know, down so they can have a sense of like, you know, like superiority. But that's not the case with Shane, man. But the one thing that I could say, I could say a lot of things, but one thing that really impressed me about him is, uh, you know, I deal with as an instructor, as a school owner, I deal with a lot of talent, a lot of guys that are, you know, they're, they're able body, you know, men. And they come up with excuses for everything, man. You know, I can hardly get them to to get their energy together, to push, to compete, or do anything like that. Uh, you know, nevertheless, someone who's injured, right? So, you know, Shane has a bit of an impediment with his hand, and um, I've seen him at tournaments. I've I seen him competing and going out there and testing himself, which is absolutely amazing, man. Because an average person looks for any excuse not to go and test themselves, and here is this brother right here who really regardless of what he's going through or what his physical impediment might be he's stepping up to the challenge to go test himself that really shows you the kind of person that he is and if i were a father that had a student or a son that was in that area and i was looking for someone to put my my son to train i would put him to train with shane and so again i could say a lot of things about him but i'm just going to end it right there and uh for anybody that's looking for a place to train if you're in the area you know shane is the man to see